What was the first film that made you want to become a cinematographer? I don't know that I remember an exact moment getting into film school and learning what a cinematographer does that I realized like that's the job for me. Uh, it's a perfect pairing of creative and technical. I will say that Todd Haynes's film Velvet Goldmine made a big impression on me in high school because it was one of the first films I saw that threw out the window that you know you need to make the audience believe a world of, that cinema is a realistic medium it's not he fully embraces that it's a fantastical medium but you can do a, a very slice of life thing that feels very real or you could do velvet goldman which is a, a treatise on glam rock that just does whatever it wants you know that movie really opened my mind up to the breadth of styles that cinema can explore whether it's experimental or established or indie for that matter it's it's just amazing seeing different viewpoints in different cultures in terms of how they shoot things as well, too. I think that's incredible. Absolutely. I agree. And I think a lot of the cinema that I've found most inspiring lately has been coming out of Europe and East Asia. You know, obviously Parasite, the, the list of Korean films goes on. And recently, um, Corsage from Austria and Happening from France. I think what I'm connecting with is something that the American cinema world hasn't really been putting money into lately because superhero movies have taken over theaters and budgets. It's cinema that honing in on one or two characters and really digging into what's going on with them and, and how they're feeling. So it's really character driven. Well, there are no new stories from what people say. It's just a different viewpoint and how they change it. Color theory and lighting, that needs to be readdressed in this day and age because we're so used to computerized graphics. Taking a step back and, and looking at the color scheme in, in Estimate My Love, I mean, beautiful blues and earthy tones. I don't think you could have gone wrong with your setting. The only thing that I think could have changed was if it was wintertime. Sure. Yeah, that, shooting in the winter would have made it so much harder than it already was. <laughs> Just access to the woods. Like I said, Corey wanted the woods to be a third character. So, you know, we're very much leaning into the tones that are there, browns, greens, and that dusky blue. You know, we spent a long time in the color grade getting things just right. You know, the, the locations were what they were. We didn't have a ton of control, certainly over the exteriors. I mean, it is what it is. Kyra Bostelli, our production designer, you know, did a lot of work in the house interior where we had some more control over the mise-en-scene over like what we were actually filming. But for the most part, it was like a battle of green. And I actually love green. I kind of am averse to magenta. But then that came up in the color grade, you know, trying to sort of play down the greens to some extent so they weren't nuclear uh, and neon, you know, not pulling our attention and, and also not letting skin tones go magenta. So yes, color theory is very important. You know, I'd love to, I mean, I always love to, you know, highlight the, you know, I spent eight years as a lighting technician and gaffer. And I think that, you know, for me, and actually for a lot of folks, you know, that that time working your way up the ladder and seeing how things are done by different people and on larger projects, you know, is huge in informing how you work once you become the boss and in, in our directing crews you know it's it's important to know not only what those roles are what you know what your keys what your gaffer your key grip what everyone does but how to merely say to them i would like to achieve blank and know that you know they're going to figure out the details better than you can imagine it because you know because you spent that time being in that position you know i think those years as a technician um hugely inform my work and how I work with others and how I collaborate. 